want to showcase my luxury lifestyle to the world by showing them the variety of, you know, international cuisines that I've experienced in my life. It's unnecessary. That is what happens when you're arrested or you want to teach me how to do my job. You're just a spineless coward. Absolutely. Just a spineless coward. The last four episodes which I did watch is an interesting one and I feel like I'll target the Adele Kids love affair because everything is messy, everything like it's just so crazy and away from crime and the race, it's more of the love affair and the love dynamic that is going on in the Adele Kids mansion. So it's just so crazy. The cooties. So you know for the cootie they were struggling with having to rescue Bura um Ebo and Ebo is back to the house like I'm so glad the Almighty <laughs> and actually brought back Ebo back to Ia Ebo. So it's um actually an interesting one that Ebo is back and now the fear now is will Mide actually go down for his crimes and everything he had done and his impact like or the role he play in getting Ebo into this trouble she found herself. It's just so crazy. But now the thing is um and also and also we Ebo actually confessed to the police. It was so um interesting that like, okay Ebo did not really uh, confess to the police everything that happened and how uh, his a brother is involved in this crime and everything. I want to actually comment the um I think is ego in a trust. So the woman who played their mother like the woman is exceptional with her acting and everything so so uh, so original so authentic and everything and that scene where she was like oh they should wait and make their father come back so they can eat that scene actually got me like my emotions and everything i was like oh what's wrong with this woman is this man going mad is she being mad like i just felt i felt it like the acting was just so good you could feel what she is feeling like, what would have triggered her to be in that situation. The woman is exceptional with her acting, like that. Like she has been doing well, like she has been acting so well so far. But that part just really give it a whole life. Like you just know that this woman, she's not a joke with this uh, career. So that is that for the cutsies. Then now this guy Percy had actually taken blame for everything, and he had gone to the prison, and they've been able to capture Biggie. So I think their fear about um, Biggie coming to take them and the rest is out of it now. And Mede is not really going down for his crime because Percy had taken responsibility, and it's not just taking responsibility. Percy had decided to sacrifice himself for. Midday, so probably Midday can protect his family. So it's a lovely one to see Percy do so. And I just actually like how everything turned out or played out. So that's that. Then to the interesting narratives. I don't know why this part is actually exciting for me. You know, the Adeleke now just wants to get Lolo a um get Lolo to marry Mandy because Bra wants so much money and she wants to get the license from popola so she can start getting gold from the river and now had to actually get the license to get gold from the river she had to get a son to marry um chief popola's daughter which is mandy so they started the preparation like mandy is becoming annoying yes <laughs> because they started the preparation and mandy is being picky and everything so that's by the way you know now and you know earlier in this video i said i'm going to tag this video the um, Adeleke's love affair and everything. In the Adeleke's mansion, since what's this guy's name, Wally joined the family, there is this new dynamic because Wally is kind of, is, since Wally joined the family, Lulu actually have an eye on him. Like, Lulu do like this guy and like, you find him interesting and right. Like, even like the very first meet they had, like, you know, like, oh, it seems as though Lulu likes this guy. But, this guy seems to be playing, would I say playing hard or is just being a brave person or is just trying to be responsible? I don't know how I'll put it. I don't know. You guys should tell me, do you guys feel maybe Wale is feeling brave or is feeling responsible? But I just know that all this thing Wale is doing is initial gra gra. Something will still happen. Yes, yeah, so Wale came in and you know, Eve is having this like, likeness for him and this crush and everything she wants to be part of the the train that's like the 
bridesmaid and she wants Wally to be there so they pair them together and they will have like good chemistry and all of that. You know, it's just so bad how uh, Wally just dropped the ball. <laughs> And he disclosed his identity. Like, you know, if you've seen Mura, you understand what I'm saying. Why am I even being this thing? He disclosed his identity as a queen man, you know? And that actually just threw everybody off balance. Like, they were like, oh, this is the tea. You know, it's just so funny. I don't know why I find it funny. Why I find this funny. And before that, Lulu and Wale actually had this moment where they almost kissed and Wale stopped him and was like, no, he won't be doing that because Lolo is getting married, so he's cousin, which he, he feels like is more or less like his sister. So why will he be having such affair with him and the rest? And Lolo is not ready to have this conversation with Wally. So they were having this back and forth. So I want to talk about a lot. And I don't even know. I'm supposed to just outline everything I want to talk for this video, but I'm just going to do it like this. So it's not be so too much. So what else we're talking now? So let me talk about Wale coming out to the family. You know, Wura is being picky or less like nosy. Let's say Wura is trying to be nice by asking Wale if when will he be getting married. Asking him when will he be getting married now actually make Wale just tell everybody in the, like everyone in the family like, no, I won't be getting married because of my life, because of my sexuality and the rest and everything, and you know, being a Nigerian and the rest. So, this is actually true Wura of balance. And you know, Wura have a reaction to things whenever she reacts to those that, that way. And her husband will always understand. But it's because of things she has put herself into. Wura had actually put herself into so much. And she actually know the reality of her son. And when they coming out to say, this is who I am. Actually, just the fear and the reaction is all because of she's just, she's homophobic or the rest. But for the fact that she's scared like, Ooh, this guy might end up being this guy and Lulu might end up having some kind of chemistry or relationship under the nose and the rest. And why she just wants to marry him off to Mandy and the rest. So she feels so threatened and she was so scared about everything. Moreover, her husband, on the other hand, is so like impressed by Wally coming out clean to them and the rest because she, he feels like that's like a brave move, a brave, a brave thing to do and the rest. It's just so funny how everything is playing out because now the husband does not really know why, uh, what's the name, why, oh my God, the husband did not know why Bura is acting the way she's acting and the rest. So that's that for Bura and everything. Then now let us talk about Wale and Lulu. Wale and Lulu are having, presently they're having this alt code. I don't know. I just feel it's just initial gra gra because, and it's one thing that actually happens with a lot of people because, you know, when people are actually struggling with their sexuality or probably like for Lulu now, he is not, he, he doesn't want to come out. Like he just is fine with being in the closet. Then for someone like Wale, who is fine with being, with having his life the way it is and not having to lie about everything with his life now. He feels like probably everybody will be like him. Moreover, everybody cannot be like you. So I feel for Wale, Wale is not supposed to think, or he's not supposed to be pushing Lolo into accepting who he is. I feel like everybody, I feel it would be nice if Lolo, it would have been better if Wale had not been so pushing with everything. Just let this guy be. You guys had the moment where you guys almost kiss, or probably you guys even kiss self. Just let him be. He's not ready to have this conversation and the rest. But I still understand Wally's point of view, where we now get to understand that after that incident, um, after that incident where they almost kissed or they kissed, you know, you know, this is Nigeria, and you we, we all know how it is here now. So we were not able to see that scene, but I we believe that scene was supposed to be a scene where they kissed. So, but you know, a production company or the production have to be safe and have to play safe with the film and everything so they won't get into trouble. So I want to believe probably the narrative was supposed was supposed to be the case in that scene. And since then, Lulu had been on and off the team. Lulu had been kind of pushing him, shushing him away, like, no, just stay off me because he was not responsive with it and everything. And it is understandable. Probably Lulu is feeling regret. Like he feels like, oh, I shouldn't have done this and all of that. Why for for Wally now. Wally wants him to come out like, this is who I am. 
this is my reality and they should have that conversation but Lulu is shying away from it so it's just a matter of understanding and they i feel they are two different individuals with different perspective different view and different way of dealing with their sexuality and it's now kind of making them to be in a very bad situation and that confrontation they had where like Wale actually called Dolu a coward because like oh because he's in the closet he's not ready to disclose who he is his family and the rest and they had to call him I understand and you know Wale feels like oh Lulu is trying to Lulu is trying to because Lulu what Lulu is dealing with now is not trying to transfer aggression on him and everything so it's just understandable I'd like to get to hear from you guys who is dealing bad with this um situation is Lulu dealing, dealing and you know Lulu had a lot having to get married to someone you do not like it's just so crazy like it's crazy and now he's Lulu wants the mother to send Wally away so that he can actually just focus and probably not be in all of this which he is and the guy is like if you should say you want to send me out of this place I'm <laughs> and it's just so crazy but it is what it is. This episode is an interesting one. And my worry is, um, what's her name? Iyabo and a mental situation. And how um, Ebu kidnapped and actually triggered her. And she's now having to deal with so much. And this woman is fast running crazy. So this is all I'll be saying for, the, um, for Wura episode 53 to 56. It's an actually interesting watch. Yes, it is what it is. So bye for now.